so gorgeous. What a cool experience. Um, Machu Picchu was the main thing we did, but we also did this really cool hike. And, you know, the hike itself was pretty much torture. But the view at the top was so pretty. Like, this is the view at the top that looks fake. The, the water being that blue. The mountain being, like, snow-capped. So the water was that blue because it was fresh water from the mountain. Absolutely gorgeous. And then along the way to the hike, before we got to the hike, because the hike itself was just like up, but the views in the mountains were just so pretty. My goodness, I can't show any group photos, but we have a couple really good group photos. Crazy times. And while I was there, it was like a big month for celebration. So in the town square, they were watching like a foot, uh, I guess you'd call it football, but there's a shootout going on, like a big penalty kick shootout, and it was so fun. There was like people getting all excited, just super duper cool. Really amazing time. I felt very connected with the world. Really 
skittish at first. Um, I took this picture, obviously. She looks like a queen. Her and Mr. Caddy, like, ruled the patio. Like, it was actually really sad. They killed a lot of animals. <laughs> really, really sad. And they would bring them to us as if we wanted to see that. I never did. Um, but this is her in my room. Sometimes she came inside, too, during the winter when it was cold. And she was a good girl. And just recently, we don't know what happened, but she went missing. And Mr. Caddy is no longer with us. He also passed away a couple years ago. Anyway, moving on. And in school, I fostered to... I'm gonna say three cats. Two of them were through a legitimate foster system, and the third one I found. <laughs> but I still fostered it, and then my roommate's grandparents adopted her. It was this little kitten. She's sitting in between my legs there. That was the first day I found her. Look at her. She's so precious. And then she would also like to cuddle up and sleep on me. Then the other cat I fostered was an old male cat. His name was Brett, and he needed a lot of medicine, and he didn't like me at first because I would administer this medicine. Then he grew a fondness for me, and I started to love him. And then I had to go home, and he had to go back to the foster people, but he did get adopted, and I'm so happy for him. I fostered a cat named Miss Honey, who was a mother cat, like she had babies. She was beautiful, well, really soft, like the softest cat I've ever touched. And this is a picture of us laying on my couch at home when I was sick with like the flu or something. It was terrible. She also got adopted. I was so tempted to keep that one. So anyway, a lot of cats in my life, but my OG, my baby girl, my dog, who passed away a couple years ago as well, this is Cinnamon. She was a miniature poodle, so she was like 20 pounds. This is a little more normal of a picture. The other one was kind of edited, but she is just the cutest little thing, and I miss her every day. My mom is thinking about finally getting a dog. I really hope she does. And then I also screenshotted this picture because it's a recent picture of me holding a kitten because I cannot stay away from cats. Basically, I like cats a lot. I have a lot of experience owning cats. I think I'm a dog person, but I just also think Cinnamon was a great dog, so... I just forgot about one more kitten who came to our house. This girl. She also, we did give her a home for... Well, we, we watched her for a while until we found her home. But, like, look at her little belly. Like, look at that. Is that not... say that cats are awful and terrible, they just haven't owned or experienced a good cat because there are so many, so many good cats out there. So unfortunately, I don't know how to answer that question. So anyway, another question I got was my favorite color. I really do like light blue, like lighter than this, more pastel than this, like honestly more like my bracelet. But for a really long time, I was obsessed with the color green, but like the pastel sage green. I'll put a picture on the screen if I find one I like. I love that color for a while.
stupid question because it's such a hard question to answer. And I was thinking, I'm like, depending on genre, depending on mood, but objectively, I've seen the Hunger Games series so many times. What movie would you want to go back and rewatch again and again? And like, honestly, I do really enjoy rewatching those movies. So I feel like that'd be my favorite movie series. And then I just, I honestly can't decide. Just a singular movie. I'm not a huge film movie person, but there's a lot of good ones out there. I need to make a list. I think I, I thought I had a list going. It's probably not even accurate, but sometimes when I finish watching a movie, I'll put it on the list because I'm like, oh, that was a good one. But in terms of shows, my favorite show is probably Parks and Rec, or The Office, or New Girl. Those are really good ones. And then I just finished watching Better Call Saul, and that was an amazing show. I did watch Breaking Bad with my dad, like two years ago. But Better Call Saul, I liked way better than Breaking Bad. I thought it was amazing. And maybe I just appreciate it more because I'm older now. I don't know, but I thought it was so good. Yeah, for like hobbies, activities, I really like playing sports, hanging out with my friends, going to the beach. I also learned how to surf last summer, and that was a really fun hobby for a while. And I still do surf a little bit, but I have not been recently, unfortunately. But I'll get back at it when it gets warmer. And it's also just more fun to do in the summer.